Welcome to episode 1741, Devi Kem, secretive and richest woman billionaire from Indonesia. This is a picture of Devi Kem and her husband. This episode is divided into two parts. Part one, the biography of Devi Kem. Part two, the four lessons. She is secretive because we don't know where she was born, what was her education. She doesn't grant interviews or talk to the press. She appears to be married and a Buddhist. In the beginning, she got rich through two things, power plants and construction. Majority of her wealth comes from 10% ownership of, of Bayan Resources, a coal mining company. Bayan Resources is one of Indonesia's leading thermal coal producers operating in East and South Kalimantan. Our world-class Tabang Paka project in East Kalimantan produces low ash, low sulfur, sub-bituminous coal and benefits from a large reserve base, long concession life and strategic location. It is one of the lowest cost mines in Indonesia, a position which we will further solidify as we increase production to over 50 million tons of coal per hour. During the global energy crisis, the stock price of Bayan resources more than five folds, and she became the richest woman self-made billionaire in Indonesia. Part two, four lessons of Devi Kem. And one, she is secretive. Now, she's not going to give you the reason why. Lesson two, her business partner is Lo Tak Kwong. Old king and richest billionaire in Indonesia. This picture of Lo Tak Kwong and his son and daughter. This occasion, he just received the Award for Entrepreneur of the Year. To him, he didn't even give a speech. He says he believes in low key. More on Lao Tak Guang. Please watch episode 1730 and 1731 of this channel. In three, she excels in three sectors. First, power plant. Second, construction. Third, coal mining. Lesson four. She is the richest self-made woman billionaire in in Indonesia. I don't think she can hold on that too much longer as China just lifted the sanction of coal import from Australia. Subscribe, leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.